What's going on guys, we've got about two and a half years on the whole event TV, getting up a collaboration and I'm here with Toby from Life at the Lane, who's a Sheffield United YouTuber, to um, do a preview with me on the channel today. Um, Aston Villa play Sheffield United at Bramall Lane, it's going to be a tough game, say hello Toby. Yo. So in this video today, we're going to do a match preview where I ask Toby questions about the game and I'll fill in my bit here and there. Um, talking about Aston Villa, so let's get into the video, guys. So, um, this is going to be a tough game for both sides. Sheffield United winning three in a row in us being unbeaten, so it's going to be um, a really, really tight game, just like last season when we played Drip Bramall and I think Snod Snodgrass um, getting the last minute goal as well, so I think you guys have a really lucky aspect that he is in the nice starting 11 as well. Um, I think um, it's going to be a really, really close game as well. Because you guys have got um, really good strikers. You've got Bulldog and Billy Sharp, who's on really good form as well. So, what do you, what do you think on the game? Um, I don't know what to expect, really, because from what I've heard, you guys have been getting pretty lucky. Uh, you know, getting uh, just last minute wins and stuff. Um, I, I think that if we turn up, we could definitely win the game. Um, like, we got our first win away at Loftus Road against QPR, and I remember their fans underestimated us um, because one of our fan YouTubers did an interview with one of a QPR fan, and he said that QPR were going to win 2 or 3 0, uh, which I thought was hilarious. Um, and then we followed that up with a 2 1 win against Norwich, uh, a last minute Billy Sharp goal. That was an insane match, it's got to be said. And, you know, we should have got the win a lot earlier in that as well. And then we won 3-0 away at Bolton. And if there's something that I could take away from this season so far, we're creating the chances. We're just not quite getting the pass right in the final third. Um, yeah. But I was about to say something, but I forgot what it was. I think it was just going to be um, that all of our players are strikers. And you were on about Bordock. I don't think he's actually going to be playing. Uh, we've, been oh, <laughs> we've been playing Kieran Freeman at right wing back um, instead because Borough were carrying an injury and Freeman's come in and done superb. Um, we always yeah. seem to um, we always seem to dodge a bullet because I remember um, saying something about Donaldson last year and he got from Geneva start and then so we always seem to dodge bullets because now Bulldog isn't starting so you know yeah. I think Donaldson did well against you lot because he's a former Brum player, you know. Every oh. other game he played, he was absolutely awful. And I was at Bolton, losing 3-0 against the Blades, so not going too well for him. Yeah. Right, I'd just like to talk about um, Sheffield United's key players. So, who have you got who is going to be really dangerous in this game? I know I've mentioned a few, but who do you um, personally think who's going to um, give us a hard time? Right, so I'll just go from back to front. So... Dean Anderson, that we've got him on loan from Manchester United. Last season, he was on loan at Shrewsbury. Got, I think it was the player finally got to, you know, and he's come on loan to us this season and is already a fan favourite. He's been such a good goalkeeper. Um, he he saved a three and one opportunity against Norwich, where one two one. Um, even in the first game of the season, he made a couple of quality saves, and uh, we've really been enjoying him. We signed Johnny Gunn from Brentford for four million, and he's been great at the back alongside Jack O'Connell and Chris Basham. Um, a big signing that we've made is Oliver Norwood from Brighton on loan, becoming a permanent in January. He's coming and boss the midfield. He really has. Um, as as you guys might know, we got Paul Coots injured, and Oliver Norwood has come in and he's been absolutely amazing. Um, and then up front, I don't. We've got Leon Clark, Billy Sharp, and David McGoldrick, and I think we're going to be starting Leon Clark and Billy Sharp. Billy Sharp's in the form of his life lately. He's been playing so good. Um, he seemed to have. He seems to have got fitter and all over it somewhere, which is weird to see that he's like thirty-three years old or something. Um, and Leon, he hasn't got a goal to his name this season yet, but he. He's been playing really good football. He's been making the right runs. He just hasn't quite managed to convert the ball yet. And when he does, I reckon he'll be getting a good 15 goals for the season. So we're, that's just a few of our main players. I I've, I've, um, just want to say, you've bet us on so many players. Ben Woodburn and also McGoldrick, <laughs> who we've like, been able to sign him with. But I 
think Ivan McGordy will do you a good job because he wasn't um, one of the top scorers in the championship of the league last year. Group switch. So I think he'll yeah, injured think, a lot. I think he'll do. I think he'll do. Um, I think he'll do a good job. And also, how is Ben Woodburn? Because I've heard he, was, I heard he came on at the Swansea as well. I watched that game. And he came on as a um, substitute, so if you'd like to tell me about him. Not too good, to be honest. Um, he start, is his first start for the Blades, I think it was. Um, he came on, no, not came on, he started, obviously, against Norwich at home because Duffy was injured or ill or something. And yeah. it saves a lot when the player gets brung off at half-time. Um, he's struggling to adapt to the Championship, to put it short, but there's glimpses of his quality. He's quite skillful. He's just yeah. not quite sure on when to release him stuff yet. Yeah, so, um, score prediction to end the video. Oh, I'm not very good at these. I don't want to sound too optimistic, but I think after last time when Snodgrass scored that goal and made our Fuzz Blades fans get in tears, I'm going to go for a 2-1 um, Blades win. I, I said it. I reckon Leon's going to pop up and get his first goal of the season. It's going to be a Yedinak mistake again. Um, oh, Yedinak in centre-back as well. <laughs> Um, I thought I'd just tell um, I thought I'd just tell uh, me Sheffield United fans that are watching this video. He's in centre back, okay. Steve Bruce um, did say that um, he just wanted to play Yedinak in centre back for as long as he feels he needs to. So he must have a crystal ball for he looks into the future, or whatever. So yeah, he must know something we don't. But personally, um, if we sign in that um, Harold McCoody. And if we play Twanzi being um, full back as what we have been doing, I don't really see it as much as a big deal if we if we have a new centre back really because well we have we have been doing that bad but we've actually lost the game because we were unbeaten so we must be doing something right to get right. unbeaten in the championship so yeah I'm looking forward to this game I think it's going to be a really really well deserved win if we ever do get the win because this is going to be one of our toughest games of the season so. And also after this, we've got an international break and we've got Blackburn Rovers, which is going to be another marathon, not a sprint, because they are also on the championship just um, behind us. And also we've got an easy three points, rather than not in on a Tuesday as well. So, yeah, I think we need to get a win and we need to get these wins thick and fast. So, yeah, thanks for going on the channel. It's OK. Nice one. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Up the villa. And I'll see you next time for the next video. See you.